Turkey Claws by Wendy Silvano, illustrated by Lee Harper. Thanksgiving was over and Turkey was safe, but then he overheard Farmer Jake and his wife Edna talking about what to have for Christmas dinner. And guess who was at the top of the list? I do love a nice turkey dinner, said Edna. Oh no, thought Turkey. Not again! But Turkey had an idea. The children had mailed their Christmas wishes to Santa Claus. Maybe Turkey could ask Santa for a Christmas wish, too. A wish that he would not be eaten for Christmas dinner. But it was too late to mail his wish to Santa. Turkey would have to go see Santa himself. Turkey arrived at Santa's village. Excuse me, said the turkey. Where could I find Santa? No one sees Santa the day before Christmas, said an elf. He's too busy making his list and checking it twice. Oh, gobble, gobble, said Turkey. But looking around gave Turkey a new idea. What if he didn't look like a turkey? What if he looked like a Christmas tree? Surely a Christmas tree could get to see Santa. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a Christmas tree. Almost. Ho, ho, hold it, cried the elf. No turkeys in Santa's village. You have to go back to the farm. How'd you know it was me? asked Turkey. Trees don't have legs, said the elf. Oh, gobble, gobble, groaned Turkey. Turkey looked around again. I've got it, he thought. Surely a reindeer could get to see Santa. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a reindeer. Almost. Halt your hooves, cried an elf. No turkeys allowed in Santa's village today. You have to go back to the farm. Oh, how could you tell it was me? asked Turkey. Reindeer don't have wings, said the elf. Oh, gobble, gobble, moaned Turkey. I've got to see Santa. Turkey looked around for another idea. Candy was being loaded into Santa's sleigh. I've got it, he thought. Surely a candy cane would be allowed inside with Santa. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a candy cane. Almost. Wait a merry minute, cried an elf. Turkeys are not candy. You have to go back to the farm. How could you tell it was me? asked Turkey. Candy canes don't have beaks, said the elf. Oh, gobble, gobble, howled Turkey. I just have to get in to see Santa. Turkey looked around and around. He saw Mrs. Claus bring a plate of cookies to the elves. Surely, surely Mrs. Claus could get in to see Santa. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like Mrs. Claus. Almost.
Turkey walked right up to Santa's house. An elf opened the door. Snow way, said the elf. No turkeys getting in here today. How did you recognize me? wailed Turkey. Mrs. Claus doesn't have feathers, said the elf. Ah,、oh, gobble, 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 Turkey sighed. I'm almost out of time. I'll never get to ask Santa for my wish. Turkey looked around desperately for one last idea. Then he saw it. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, it was his best yet. Ding dong! An elf brought in the box. What's this? said Santa. Huh, a present for me? Out popped Turkey. Merry Christmas! he cried. Gobble, gobble! Ho, ho, ho! Ha, ha, ha! laughed Santa. What are you doing here, Turkey? Turkey explained his Christmas wish. Santa smiled. I think I have just the right disguise for you. And he did. It was Turkey's best Christmas ever. Pizza on Earth. Love, Turkey. Thanks for listening to Turkey Claws with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This book is dedicated to my first graders Wyatt, Jacoby, Hayden, Lexi, Hogan, Victoria, Carter, Andrew, Maverick, Rayleigh, Emma, Armani, Jaden, Gina, Lincoln, Watson, Hudson. And finally, Josiah. Merry Christmas!